Hello everyone, this is Sister Gloria. And I like to, 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 to tell the Lord thank you for giving me another chance to come back and to share the gospel with my brothers and sisters and those that are coming, Lord, into the kingdom. Lord, we're claiming many souls to come into the kingdom. Thank you, Father. Today we will be reading from the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verses 1 and 2. Before I read it, I I, 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 I want to say just a little short prayer, and then we're going to read the word. Thank you, Father. Father, I thank you, Lord, for being so kind as to allow us another chance. We get another chance, y'all. We get another chance, and I'm so glad about it. Holy Spirit, take control of my mind and my heart. Have your way in me. I pray that I only say what you what, what you tell me to say. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I know that many of us have, have said, I'll do it tomorrow. We have put off a lot of things. But what if tomorrow never comes? What if we don't get a chance to repent of our sins? We say, I'll, I'll, I'll repent later on. Uh, I got time. I'm young. I repent. My, 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 um, my grandparents, my mom and them, they lived long lives. I'm going to live a long life. But the word of God said, no man knows the day nor the hour of his coming. We don't know. So, you know, if you're not saved, you don't know Jesus in the pardon of your sins. You know, don't put it off. You can do it today. Right now, you can, all you have to say is, Lord, I'm a sinner. Please forgive me for sinning against you. I'm sorry, Lord. And you know what? You turn, turn your back on sin and go the other way. Don't wait to get saved on Sunday. You can do it right now. You, the pastor don't have to be there. As a matter of fact, you can read from the book of Romans uh, 10 and 9. You can do it on your own. And if you ain't got a Bible, most people, you can download the Bible on your phone. You can read from your, from your phone, from your laptop. If you don't have a Bible, and you can go to God and, and ask him to forgive you of your sins. Lord, I'm sorry. If you backslid, because God say I'm married to the backslider. If you, if you left God, you just come on back. You know, come on back. You know what to do. Repent of your sins, because that's how much God loves us. Like I said in the previous video, I used to think that God would, you know, uh, uh, beat us. You know, whoop us. I'm going to always get a whooping. But sometimes I did need a, a, a spanking. But but God is loving and he's kind and he's long-suffering and patient toward us. And he, you know, he's giving us time to get it right. So, so if you if you walked off and, and you you turned your back on God, it, it, you still got breath in your body. You listening? You can hear me now. Go on and, and and come on back, and 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 do your first works over. And Lord, I'm sorry I sinned against you. You know, you know if you mean it in your heart. You know, Lord, please forgive me of my sins. Come on back, come on back, cause. I mean, ain't nothing out here in this world. The world is getting worse and worse. Some people say it's getting better. No, it's not going to get better. It's going to get worse. We're living in perilous times, dangerous times. And, you know, uh, people, you know, being um, possessed by demons and, and, and a lot of stuff is going on. People killing people. People, people, it, it's just so much going on. Shooting people. People going through mental problems, road rage, all kinds of sicknesses and diseases taking many, many people out. But, um, you know, one appointment that we cannot cancel is the appointment when Jesus says, your time is up. We cannot, we cannot cancel that appointment. But it said, we don't know when Jesus is coming, but we know he's coming. 
Some of us going to die in the earth. Some of us going to be caught up. We, 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 but we don't know. God just say, he say, be ready. Be ready because I'm coming at a time when you think not. Be ready. Lord, I thank you, God, for helping us all to be ready. Lord, help us to go out and share the gospel and compel others to come before it's too late. Lord, help us to put our pride to the side. Because, Lord, you hate pride. Help us not to be ashamed of you, Lord. You did. God did so much for us as to send his son, Jesus Christ, to die in this world. He knew uh, 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 Jesus didn't even know no sin, but came down here and became sin for me and you. So we don't have to die and go to hell. Father, help us, God, not to be caught up in the cares of this world. Help us not to worry, murmur, and complain, but to be grateful and thankful for what we have. Yes, Lord, we need you, God. Without you, Lord, we are nothing. Help us to love, God, those that don't love us back. Help us. Help us, Lord, to help them. And God, you told us to love our enemies. Help us to put our differences to the side. Help us to, to, to be the bigger person and, 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 and go and, and say, I'm sorry. Help us that we don't put it off, but that we do it today. In Jesus' name, Lord, have your way, God, and your people. Bless your people, God. Thank you for the peace of God that surpasses all understanding. Lord, help us just to lean and depend on you, God. Because you already said we have, we have all these things that pertain to life and godliness. Thank you, Lord, that we have a mind to still want to go, go on, to still want to push and press toward the mark of the high calling. Lord, thank you so much. Y'all, we are so blessed. You know, it's nothing complicated about giving your life to God. You just come as you are. Come, come as you are with all your hang-ups i don't care what you're going through what you've done how you did it who you did it with just come that's all he said just come come that's all he said just come to me that's heavy all you that is heavy laden you're burdened down with all this kind of stuff that's going on in the world burdened down with our bills and and um just just whatever's going on in our lives. God said, just come. Because he want to give us peace. He want to give us rest. He just want us to lean on him. Ain't that something? God just say, just lean. He said, cast all your cares on me. Because I care for you. Just give it to me. Don't that sound simple? It sounds so simple. But I didn't do it. I I, I, I ain't always uh, been able to just cast my care. Just give it to God. He said, he said I, I, I can handle it all. Jesus Christ took the sins of the whole world on his shoulders. He, that, he did it for all of us. All of us get the, we, we, we have that right to cast all our cares on him. I don't care what it is. Give it to him. I don't care what you did. Give it to him. Lord, I did this. He know, he know we can't hide nothing from God. He know what we did. He know when we did it. It was recorded. But see, when we ask God for forgiveness, our angel of repentance, he got that book and that pencil in his hand, and then he erased it. Then we get a clean slate, like a clean sheet of paper. Ain't nothing on it but our name. Our names that have already been written in the Lamb's Book of Life. We get a clean slate when we repent and we turn from our wicked ways. God love us, y'all. He love us so much. He giving us time. There's so much stuff going on in the earth. So much. Can y'all imagine what it's going to be like when God take us, take his people off this earth? We think it's bad. Now it's going to be even, it's going to be a bad time. So, y'all, don't put off your salvation. Don't put off coming to Christ. Don't put it off. Do it today. Give your life to God. You can do it right now. Lord, I'm a sinner. Save me, Lord. Lord, I, I sinned against you. Lord, I'm guilty. Lord, please forgive me. I'm sorry. God, he'll forgive you. It's a done deal. 
And then he said, I'll throw it in the sea of forgiveness. I forget. I don't even know what you, what, what you, you keep bringing it up. I did this, I did that. God like, what you talking about? He forgot it. God don't even remember that no more. Now you, you a new creature in Christ Jesus. All things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. You knew. I'm new. We knew. Ain't nobody bringing up our past but the devil. <laughs> you know, when somebody allowed the enemy to use them. Remember, it's not the, the person that we that we got the issue with. It's what's operating in the person, that demonic spirit. So we can pray for our enemies and still love them. Y'all, we were once enemies toward Jesus Christ, toward God when we were sinning against him. We we were we were his enemy. But now we have given our life to God. We can move on. We are not enemies anymore. Uh, to the Lord. We, we are friends. Heavenly Father, thank you. Thank you for blessing our sister and our brother, God, that have come across this, this video. Lord, I pray, God, that you will bless them. Lord, that you will open doors and make ways. But most of all, God, that you will save their souls and save their loved ones, their children, everything they're concerned about. Lord, thank you, God. Thank you, Lord, for being so loving and kind toward us. He loved us so much. Hey, go in peace. In Jesus' name, amen.